What is up guys, it's Dons here and today we are back with yet another FIFA 18 squad builder. Now as you can probably tell, my voice is completely broken again, so apologies for sounding like a fish, but it is what it is. Getting straight into the video, we have got our second Path to Glory squad builder. Now today is featuring Argentinian national team, which is actually a really, really strong team. Um, in the previous years, they've had very, very poor defence and goalkeepers, but they've actually really improved in terms of all-round capabilities. So this was a really interesting squad to build, and jumping straight into it in goal, we have gone with a, a player that I didn't actually think would feature, and that is Romero. The reason why I've gone with most of these players is because they are players which I believe are going to play for the national team, whether it's the friendlies or for the World Cup qualifications or the World Cup itself. So we have gone with Romero. I believe he is preferred over Rulli at the moment. So we've gone and stuck him in goal. And I was actually really, really happy with the way he performed. He only cost 900 coins, six foot four, really decent all round stats for a non-rare goalkeeper. So I was really, really happy with his card. Now moving on to the first centre back position, we have gone with Inform Otamendi. Now I could have just gone with his normal card and if you guys are running short on coins, definitely go for his normal card. The stats are relatively similar, so it's not that much of a jump. However, this guy is so sick. 86 defence, 83 physical, that's all you need. His defence and his physical will literally keep you in so many games. He's that good. The high attack and work rate doesn't really work well for his card. But if you state the right instructions on him, he does always find himself in the right position. Now moving on to the first and well to the next centre back position, we have gone with Musashio. Now I didn't really enjoy using Musashio as much. He is really really quick. That is probably the biggest upside to him. But he felt really weak on the ball. Despite that, his defence is really really good. So when he is actually standing up to the attacker, he will win you that ball. So you definitely still go with him. He is probably still the second best centre back. I would go for him over anyone else, over Mascherano, over Rojo. He is definitely the second best, so definitely stick him at the back. Now, moving on to the right back position, we have gone with a player by the name of Gomez. This guy has 92 pace. That's all you need, 92 pace. High attack and work rate, 650 coins. He's cheap, he's sick, he's quick. He's got four-star weak foot as well, so he can cut in and cross on both feet, which is amazing. Now moving on to the left back position, we have gone with Ansaldi. I didn't really know who to go for at this left back position. I couldn't find anywhere who their starting left back is. I'm I'm not sure if they play through at the back to be honest, but I couldn't find anywhere who their starting left back is. So I literally just went with the one I thought would perform the best in this squad. And the reason we've gone with Ansaldi is he's got really really good all round stats. Very, very good stats, 75 passing, 76 physical, 76 defense, 79 dribbling and 80 pace. Also, the four star, five star weak foot, three star skills and high attack and work rate works really, really well on a full back and we have really enjoyed using him in the squad. And moving on to the first centre mid position, we have got our first player or path to glory player and that is Pastore. I really, really enjoy using this card. I've enjoyed using it since like FIFA 13. His card is absolutely amazing. 71 pace, 85 dribbling, 75 shot, 83 passing, 4 star, 4 star and high attack and work rate. As you can see he cost 23,000 coins at the time of recording and he managed to pick up one goal in the 5 games that we played. Definitely, definitely go out and buy Pastore. If he does play for his national team he probably will get a couple of assists, do well, probably get an upgrade so definitely go pick him up. And moving on to the next centre mid position, we have got a player you have seen, and that is Biglia. Now, Biglia, to be honest, is probably the only other player you can stick in this position. His stats are just really nice all round. He sits back, high defensive work rate. He's really, really good, really strong, decent at dribbling as well. So when he does win it, he can push it forward for you as well. And you don't have to rush your passes. Four-star weak foot as well. So really, really good dispatching, which works perfectly with his 81 passing. And he managed to pick up one goal and one assist in the five games that we played. Really, really cheap for an 83 rated player at 2,100 coins. So definitely, definitely go and pick up Biglia. And moving on to the centre attacking midfielder, we have come with a slightly out of position player and that is Gonzalo Higuain but oh my goodness me this guy has got 99 shot he is so amazing the amount of goals I've scored from outside of the box um, just ridiculously dirty angles that I shouldn't be scoring from and this guy is putting them in the top bins definitely definitely go out and buy Higuain if you can afford it go for his inform as well I could have got his inform but I thought I was going to get a legend at the back but I thought I would keep it realistic with players 
that are going to be playing for the national team. So I ended up buying Higuain before then and then didn't want to just sell him and buy his inform. But definitely go and buy his inform. He'll be even better for you. As you can see, five goals in the five games. For a cam, didn't get any assists, but that's because he was too busy banging in goals. Sets you back about 60,000 coins. Got high attack and work rate, 87 shot, 83 dribbling, 74 physical, 79 pace and 70 passing. Moving on to the left mid, well, left wing position, we have gone with a player who is another path to glory card and that is Alejandro Gomez. 98,000 coins at the time of recording, he's probably dropped a lot. He's got 90 pace, 88 dribbling, 80 passing, 77 shot, 4 star, 4 star with high attack and work rate. He didn't pick up any goals for the squad in the 5 games that we played but he managed to pick up 2 assists which is really really good. Only downsides to this card is his physical and his his height the only things that are bad everything else is amazing he's so quick his dribbling's amazing his shots really good his passing's good he is an amazing amazing card hopefully he gets a couple upgrades to boost his shot even more and he will be probably one of the best left mid cards in the game now moving on to the right wing position we have gone with another path to glory player and you guys already know who it is it is rigoni now, Rigoni is actually really surprisingly good. I wasn't expecting him to be as good as he is. Five-star weak foot, four-star skills. He got three goals and two assists in the five games that we played. He's got 86 pace, 78 dribbling, 73 shots, 76 passing, and 61 physical. If you guys have not got him already, definitely go to the Squad Builder Challenge section and get this card. He is amazing. I used the throw yesterday. I thought he was good. This guy is 10 times better. Definitely, definitely go out and buy him. He is the must get for this squad. Now, moving on to the striker position, we have gone with the big boy himself. We were going to get Messi and put him off chem, but we've decided to go with Aguero. Now, this guy is absolutely amazing. Two goals, three assists in the five games that we played. Cost 390,000 coins, but his stats are amazing. High attack and work rate. 4 star, 4 star, 87 pace, 89 dribbling, 88 shot, 75 passing and 72 physical, 89 rated card as well so he does boost your squad rating overall but everybody knows how well Aguero is going to do for you regardless of how well you play on FIFA, he is amazing so definitely go out and buy Aguero, he fits into the squad perfectly, literally all the players around him work really well with him and it is such an amazing squad to use. Anyway guys, hope you guys have enjoyed the squad. If you have, definitely hit the like button down below, it helps me out a lot. If you've got any suggestions or any future squad builders which you want to see me do, write it down below in the comments and I'll definitely respond to those. Also, if you're new to the channel, please hit the subscription button if you want to see more videos like this. Also, hit the little notification bell if you want to be the first person to watch my videos. I'm going to start doing giveaways as soon as I hit the right amount of subs, which I said before in my previous videos. And I'm just going to be doing those videos on screen, on the video. So if you guys are the first person or first people to see it, it gives you a higher chance of obviously getting that code. It's going to be PSN, Xbox codes, Steam cards everything you can think of i'm going to be doing them for you guys every other video so definitely definitely hit the notification button as well so you can be within the charts of winning one of those anyway thanks for watching it's been dons and goodbye